Hey Leo, hope you guys are all doing great. So this is going to be your general love reading for the second half of September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Leo. It is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation and that is okay. That's just how this works. <laughs> but if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And please do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you are cross-watching or not because the reading is general. I feel like I kept saying that over and over again in Aries reading. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, so I'm telling you guys now so I don't have to keep repeating myself throughout. So let's see, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What is going on in a love connection for the second half of September? All right, for the situation, we have the Lovers, Gemini energy, crossed by the Four of Swords. All right, definitely a connection here. A lot of love, um, feeling like, you know, you just belong together. Um, but there's something here that needs to be healed, and I feel like there's something restless about this connection. Um, and something that just feels like almost like you haven't recovered from something or the other person has not recovered from something but I do feel like whoever this is that needs to recover from something is actually in that process let's see the recent past we have the queen of pentacles all right we'll see when we clarify um, what that is about for your energy we have the magician and the six of swords all right, Leo. Um, it could be you. It could be you that is trying to recover um, from something or maybe just possibly um, mend a broken heart as well um, concerning a connection, a love connection. It kind of feels that way. Um, and I do see you actually being able to leave this pain or this hurt in the past somehow. Let's see, uh, for the other person, we have the Queen of Wands and the Hierophant. Okay, so Taurus. We also have Aries showing up here. Um, and some of you might also be dealing with an Earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Did I say Aries? Yeah, I said Aries. Definitely seeing Leo. I'm seeing a whole bunch of signs, actually, <laughs> in your in your reading here. Gemini, as I said, Taurus, for sure, with the Hierophant. Okay, so you could be dealing with any of these signs. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, okay, so whoever it is that you're dealing with, this is someone who is very assertive at the moment, um, or at least finding their confidence in some way. It could be that they have a very strong commitment to something. I'm not sure if this is towards you, but there's definitely a very strong commitment here. We'll see when we clarify. Um, for the near future, we have the moon. Okay, Pisces. So something here might still be a little bit mysterious. Something might not be revealed or is still being hidden. And let's see the final message for you. We have the page of swords. Okay, definitely could be, this could be talking about communication. Um, I actually don't want to say too much because I feel like your reading has like a lot in it. So I just want to clarify and see what we get. So let's see. For the lovers and the four of swords. the Hanged Man, the Six of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, all right. Definitely a very strong connection that you have here with somebody. Very, very deep soul connection. Um, I feel like things feel like they have been in a pause. So maybe this is why you've been feeling restless or feeling like um, you're having a hard time recovering from this because it just feels like there was either waiting involved or um, there was... It just felt like, okay, it's on hold and it's like waiting to see how that's going to manifest and then it just feels like this was just taking a long, long time, all right, with the page, uh, with sorry, with the Knight of Pentacles here. Now, 
what I'm getting here for you is that this, I mean, this connection is very strong and it's always going to be that way. Um, it's, it's like, it's just like a constant, you know, like regardless of whether you're in communication or not, that connection is there and you both feel it. And it's just something that's always going to be there. Um, now this journey for you in terms of healing from whatever it is that has happened between the two of you, that also has been like a long journey. Um, I feel like, you know, it's, it feels like it's been a very long, slow process. Let's see this Queen of Pentacles for the recent past. The Queen of Swords and the King of Cups. I feel like there's like it just feels like there's so many um, court cards that there's um, more people involved possibly here like other than just the two of you okay so that might resonate for some of you okay so in the recent past I mean this this could even be you like just really trying to take care of yourself really trying to nurture your own self um, trying to set some boundaries trying to find some sense of integrity and trying to find your emotional stability and like I said before I feel like you you know you are doing that you are doing that um, I feel like you know it's been a long slow process but this is something that you are actually moving towards more and more as you go along <clears throat> so let's see more specifically your energy up here let's see the magician Five of Pentacles and the Hermit. Okay, so Virgo. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo or some of you might have Virgo in your charts. This is actually feeling a lot of aloneness, feeling lonely, feeling empty. Um, I kind of feel like that's either that's what you wanted at some point, you know, like, um, it kind of like if you're not going to have this person or if this connection is not here in your life, then you just want to be alone. And so I feel like that's kind of what you what you manifested. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing necessarily because, you know, it could be that you needed this time alone in order to heal, to actually process the feeling of loss, to process the feeling of emptiness, to process the feeling of aloneness. And then through this, though, there is a lot that you are learning about your own self. There's a lot of um, deep insights that you have had concerning your own self, but I feel like, you know, it's been like a lonely process. Let's see the Six of Swords, because I do see things getting better here. Things are getting better for you. Six of Swords... We have the Queen of Wands showing up again and the Four of Swords also showing up again. All right, and the Four of Wands is down here in the other person's energy. So yeah, like I said, you are in the process of healing. You are in the process of recovering um, <clears throat> from this connection, whoever this person is. Um, I actually do see them thinking about you, all right, with the Queen of Wands now being being in their energy and then it's also showing up here for you. So this is definitely representing you also being Leo. And it's like, you know, you're all all you can do is whatever it is that you can do, right? And I feel like you're doing that. That's my point. Like you're doing whatever it is that you can do. And if that means being alone to get through this, then so be it. Because I do see you recovering in that way and being able to leave this pain behind. Even if this other person comes back, you know, it's like you still, you're, you're working on leaving this pain behind. And that's something that I feel, you know, is actually what is going to help you 
even if this person does come back, it's almost like the message here is that even if this person came back to you before you had healed this, it wouldn't work. And so you are meant to heal this. You are meant to go through whatever it is that you've been going through. And maybe for some of you, you're not really separated, but um, I'm getting kind of like that you're not 100% together either because there's something here that you are recovering from. Um, but even if you are together, I mean, this could be just a very specific event or aspect that needs to be um, healed or addressed by you in some way. Okay, so let's see what's going on with the other person. <clears throat> let's see this Queen of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. So, hmm, this person is working on something. They're working on something and very, very focused on actually like either putting the puzzle pieces together, um, organizing something, making a plan. There's a lot of effort here that they are putting into something and it's it's happening with a lot of um, confidence and assertiveness on their end. So it could be anything and it could be different for each of you. Um, <clears throat> but it's definitely something very positive that they are working towards. And I do feel like it's something that they've been working towards for a while as well. Whatever that is. Let's see the Hierophant. The Seven of Swords and the King of Swords. There's a lot of determination in this person. And I feel like this determination has to do with something that they have either been very, very committed to or some kind of a tradition or belief that they've been holding on to that they want to sneak away from. And, and it does come in with a sense of this person feeling either some guilt or feeling like they're doing something wrong almost in a way by, um, by moving away from this. But I, I feel like there's also this determination behind it. A lot of, okay, logical thinking, like, is this really wrong? Maybe it feels wrong, but is it really? And why is it that it feels wrong? So something that to them feels like it would be wrong, but actually it's not. That's what they're focusing on. And this is something that I feel like they're, they're planning around it. Whatever this is, I feel like the reason why it's not um, being specific here is because we have the moon in the near future, which is telling me that something is meant to still be a little bit hidden here. And there's a reason for that. Let's see. Why is the moon here? <clears throat> the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Whatever it is that this person is working on, yeah, they're, they're holding back. They're not sharing this information with you. Um, they're, it's like they're keeping it to themselves. And it's almost like it's something that they could share with you, but they're not. They're just not. Um, almost like they, they want to just get away from something here that has been... Um, really steady for them or has been a constant for them or has been like a tradition or um, something along those lines. Something cultural maybe for some of them. Even a, a, a job, a career. It, it could be anything. But this person is very determined to actually move away from that. Which I feel moving away from that would actually mean coming closer to you. Um, but again, you know, there it's it's being hidden. Let's see this page of swords. 
for the message for you. <laughs> the Magician, which was in your energy. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so taking that more difficult path, right? Um, manifesting that. I feel like, you know, the more that you release this and detach from this, which you have been doing, the more that you are actually manifesting um, some kind of communication or something here, some kind of um, a truth coming in, finding out something. So I actually feel like the message for you is just is just to keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, it's been hard. I do see it getting easier. And it's like the more that you progress, the more that some kind of information is going to come in so that you can get out of the dark because I feel like maybe you're in the dark here about this situation. So yes, some, some kind of information will come through, whether it be directly from this person or indirectly in some way, there is something that you will find out. And I feel like you've been manifesting this actually all along by allowing yourself that alone time to heal. All right, Leo, let's see. And final message that wants to come through. And we have breathe. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. I feel like you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot, but things are getting easier, and that's the message here from Spirit. So just breathe and relax. All right, Leo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.